Trump admin just quietly hit Facebook with major lawsuit overnight, it's a game changer. The administration of President Donald Trump has filed a complaint in federal court going after Facebook for what was being listed as violating the Fair Housing Act. This complaint specifically appears to target the advertising module in which advertisers can select from a number of metrics by which to decide who they wish to show ads to. For example, a real estate agent might purchase ads to get leads to sell a home. They might target specifically working class people who live in specific areas, in their particular case, they might need to target people who earn a certain income in hopes to sell a million dollar home. The complaint is that these ads might discriminate against people by not showing it to them, specifically in this example, the person paying for the ad wouldn't want anyone to see their ad if they're not living in that area or if they're not making a certain salary. They're trying to sell homes to people who meet certain criteria, not waste money on extremely expensive Facebook ads that won't provide a return on the inventory. This is called ad targeting, not discrimination, however, they filed a suit regardless. This one might not be successful, but it's way in the door with a big hand waving to social media that they need to get their act together. It's a major game changer if the complaint harms those who use Facebook's advertising program while not providing anything of substance for the users. The biggest lawsuit that should be followed is one that fights censorship. A very big possible they filed the housing complaint is due to the amount of real censorship and discriminatory practices going on with Facebook themselves. President Trump has called out big tech and social media for their constant and obvious attack on the right-wing and conservative voices. Bloggers, publishers, and readers fans of right-wing news publications have been unjustly targeted in a very obvious and one-sided attack that has seen people be banned, lose their monetization abilities, and face censorship unfairly in comparison to those on the left wing. Perhaps this is just one of many attacks the Trump administration has planned on the big social media networks who have turned into the thought police. BizPack Review stated, hours before President Donald Trump took to social media Saturday morning to blast Silicon Valley's tech giants for censoring conservative voices, his administration quietly launched a bombshell suit against one tech giant in particular, Facebook. In a complaint filed in federal court Friday, the Department of Housing and Urban Development accused Facebook of violating the Fair Housing Act. Facebook enables advertisers to control which users receive housing-related ads based upon the recipient's race, color religion, sex, familial status, national origin, disability, and or zip code, HUD announced in a statement. Facebook then invites advertisers to express unlawful preferences by offering discriminatory options, allowing them to effectively limit housing options for these protected classes under the guise of targeted advertising. In other words, if a landlord wants to block his or her housing ads on Facebook from being seen by potential black tenants, he or she may. And according to HUD, this is wrong. The Fair Housing Act prohibits housing discrimination including those who might limit or deny housing options with a click of a mouse, Maria Farias, HUD's Assistant Secretary for Fair Housing and Equal Opportunity, said. When Facebook uses the vast amount of personal data it collects to help advertisers to discriminate, it's the same as slamming the door in someone's face. This is the same thing Facebook and other social media entities have been doing to conservatives, as noted by the President Saturday. President Trump lashed out against social media for censoring right-wing and conservative content. As a blogger myself, I have been a victim of this. I am currently serving a 30-day ban from Facebook just for responding to someone's comment. Then someone reported the comment, even though there was nothing wrong with the comment, and now I cannot participate on Facebook with friends or family for 30 days. The biggest problem is that Facebook will not read nor allow you to respond and let them know it was a mistake. Each time I try to report it as a mistake, the system shoots back an error stating they can't process it right now. I have tried for days to report the ban as a mistake, but it does not go through. I have also contacted Facebook on Twitter and they have not responded. There is an obvious attack by big social media in hopes that people are silenced just for having an opinion. The problem with that is it becomes very heavily one-sided. The way it should be is that everyone has their own voice and no one is censored. Those who end up being fake news will eventually go away on their own as the audience themselves will ignore or reject them. Those who become the most trustworthy will have the biggest and best audience. Social media should let people manage their own content and decide what they like and dislike. What's happening is that big social media sites like Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube are silencing people for no reason at all. Let everyone have the same voice and let the people decide for themselves who they like, listen to, read, and watch. I scroll past everything that I don't like, and I like everything that I enjoy.
Facebook has already ruined the way Facebook pages work by removing them from our newsfeed and forcing users to go back to the page and select See First under the following button. Everything that I used to see on a daily basis has now vanished and I had to go back and basically tell Facebook yes, I like this already, and I like it again. Ever since the decline of freedom on social media platforms, there have been several alternative platforms being launched. Gab is an alternative to Twitter. BitChute is an alternative to YouTube. Trending Views is an uncensored social media alternative that has a monetizing program for publishers, and there's also SteamIT and Minds which appear to be based on cryptocurrency for the coin slash token nerds, not everyone understands that stuff. There are valid social media alternatives out there which are doing well and people should give them a try. There's no reason that big social media sites should have ever started censoring people unless it was illegal content. They are finally seeing that they've gotten power hungry and out of control and the backlash is real as people have had enough of the censorship and thought police ruining a good time. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.